Hi everyone, welcome back to my Qtis basic series where I go over the most frequently asked Google questions. So I'm in episode two, so we're gonna look up how to export an attribute table. Like I've said in previous episodes, the first thing I do when I wanna figure out how to do something is to Google it and often the top answer is the one that you wanna go for. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two ways of how to export a tribute tape. So moving on to our workspace, in a previous episode, I talked about creating coverage layers to automate figure production. And so here I've got three features and say you wanna make that into a table. What you can do is right click on the layer, hit export, save features as, and in the format section, you wanna drop down to either CSV or XLSX, uh, let's do a CSV for this one, let's call it coverage attributes. And you can save that wherever you need to. Once that's saved, you can find the place where you saved it and open it up. And once it's opened, you can see, I guess, the attribute table exported in Excel. So there you have it, that's one way of doing it. The other way that I do it, and I typically do this more often than not, is to open up the attribute table in QGIS, uh, hit select all, and then just press copy or control C. Go back to the CSV that you were looking at before or a new fresh CSV and simply just press paste. And this system works just as well. It also adds some of the underlying geometry to the attribute table. So I typically remove that if I don't need it. So there you have it, two ways of exporting it. One is through the export functionality and the other one is just simply copying and pasting. I think that the export functionality is probably a bit better if your GB table is massive. Say if you're doing just some like data analysis for a small subsection of your data set, selecting and, and copying and pasting might be all you need to do. So I hope that's helped and I hope that's taught you how to export an attribute table. If you have any questions, feel free to add a question in the comments section below. If you like this video, if it was useful for you, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.